Hello, dear brothers and sisters, it is a pleasure to welcome you to another powerful psalm that inspires and strengthens us. Today, we will delve into Psalm, an inexhaustible source of comfort and faith. I invite you to join me on this journey of reflection and spiritual renewal. Let's explore together the depths of this Psalm 19 and discover the transformative truths it offers us. O oh, Psalm 19 is a poetic work of great beauty and importance within the biblical tradition, recognized for its profound reflection on divine revelation through two main means, natural creation and the law of God. This psalm, attributed to King David according to tradition, stands as a hymn to the majesty of creation and the perfection of divine law. Psalm 19 is divided into two distinct but interconnected parts. The first part, verses 1 to 6, exalts the greatness and perfection of creation, especially the firmament and the sun, as eloquent witnesses to the glory of God. Through captivating poetic imagery, the psalmist describes how the heavens proclaim God's greatness without the need for words, through their majestic design and perfect order. The sun, in its imposing daily journey through the heavens, is presented as a symbol of divine constancy and the joy that it radiates over the earth. The second part of Psalm 19, verses 7 to 14, shifts focus to God's law, presenting it as a perfect and transformative guide for human life. Here, the psalmist extols divine law in laudatory terms, describing it as perfect, faithful, upright, pure, and desirable even more than gold and honey. The law of God, according to the psalmist, is not only a set of precepts, but a life-giving force that has the power to convert the soul, give wisdom to the simple, gladden the heart, and enlighten the eyes. In summary, Psalm 19 presents a double divine revelation. Through natural creation and written law. Through observation of the world around us and reflection on divine commandments, the psalmist invites the reader to contemplate the greatness of God and to find in his law a source of wisdom, joy, and life. This psalm continues to be a source of spiritual inspiration for millions of people around the world who find in it an invitation to contemplate the beauty of creation and to live according to the principles of divine law. Psalm 19, a poetic composition of great relevance in the biblical tradition, stands out for its profound examination of divine revelation through two main means, natural creation and God's law. Traditionally attributed to King David, this hymn arises as an exaltation of the majesty of creation and the perfection of divine law. This composition is divided into two clearly differentiated but intrinsically connected sections. The first part, verses 1 to 6, exalts the greatness and perfection of creation, especially the firmament and the sun, as eloquent testimonies of the glory of God. Through captivating poetic images, the psalmist illustrates how the heavens proclaim divine greatness, regardless of words, through their majestic design and perfect order. The sun, in its imposing daily journey through the heavens, becomes a symbol of divine constancy and the joy that it radiates over the earth. The second part of Psalm 19, verses 7 to 14, directs his attention to God's law, presenting it as a perfect and transformative guide for human life. Here, the psalmist praises divine law in emphatic terms, describing it as perfect, faithful, right, pure, and desirable, even more than gold and honey. The law of God, according to the psalmist, is not just a set of precepts, but a life-giving force with the power to convert the soul, grant wisdom to the simple, gladden the heart, and enlighten the eyes. In summary, Psalm 19 presents a double divine revelation. Through natural creation and written law, it invites the reader to contemplate the greatness of God by observing the world around us and to find in its law a source of wisdom joy, and life. This psalm continues to be a source of spiritual inspiration for millions, who find in it an invitation to reflect on the beauty of creation and to live according to the principles of divine law. Now we will meditate on Psalm 19, 
and then we will say a prayer, and then we will pray the Our Father. The heavens tell the glory of God, and the firmament announces the work of His hands. One day utters word to another day, and night after night He declares wisdom. There is no language, no words, nor is His voice heard. His voice went out throughout the land, and to the end of the world His words. In them He put a tabernacle for the sun, and this one, like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, he is happy like a giant to run the road. From one end of the heavens is his exit, and the course of it until their end, and there is nothing that hides from his warmth. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of Jehovah is faithful, making wise the simple. The commandments of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The precept of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, lasting forever. The judgments of Jehovah are true, all just. They are more desirable than gold, and more than much refined gold, and sweeter than honey, or that which drips from the honeycomb. Your servant is also warned against them. In keeping them there is great reward. Who can understand his own mistakes? Deliver me from those that are hidden from me. Also preserve your servant from pride. Let them not lord it over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasant before you. O Jehovah, my rock and my redeemer, I now enter your presence once again, Lord, to ask you for strength so that I can overcome all difficulties all problems. Lord, I know it's not easy, but I know you are with us. So, through this prayer I come to ask once again that you give us strength to overcome everything that comes from the enemy, so that we can resist trials and problems. I know that your daughter, your son, goes through so much struggle, Lord, that she even thinks about giving up on life. But I know that you give us strength, Lord just as you gave strength to Elijah in that desert. You sent an angel to lift him up with water and bread, so that he would not give up on your promises. So, Lord, make sure we don't give up on the promise that you have for us. Give us strength, O Father, to face each day with courage and faith, knowing that you are with us at all times. May your light illuminate our path and guide us through the shadows of doubt and fear. May your love surround us and sustain us, strengthening us on our journey. Give us, Lord, the perseverance to move forward, even when everything seems difficult. May we fully trust in you, knowing that you are our refuge and our strength. Lord our God and beloved Father, once again I enter your presence to intercede for the lives of each person subscribed to this channel. You know everyone's hearts, Lord, and you know the anguish and bitterness that many face. Whether due to debts to be paid, loss of loved ones, addictions, illnesses, or any other trials, I ask you, Lord, to enter the lives of these people with your purifying light. May your presence dispel the darkness that plagues them, bringing comfort and peace. For those who cannot sleep at night, may your hand calm them and grant them the rest they need. Bless each one of them, Lord, because even though I don't know their struggles, you are knowledgeable about all things. Strengthen them, Father, as it is written in Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Help them to rise up, to find hope and comfort in your word. May they feel your presence guiding them in the midst of adversity, and may they experience your restorative love. Amen. Lord, I come to you in search of help for these people who are here. I ask you, Father, not to allow them to lack anything. Take care of the table of your sons and daughters, O Father. Hallelujah! May your name be glorified and sanctified. Take their lives in your hands, Lord. Hug each one of them and cover them with your mantle of love. Lord, heal all the wounds, ease the tightness in the heart, the weight on the back when waking up in the morning. Free them from all evil, from every attack from the adversary. In the name of the Lord Jesus, 
I rebuke the evil one and bless your sons and daughters. Open a door of employment for those who are unemployed, cure them of every disease. Visit them with your angels and protect them from all evil. Deliver them from their afflictions. For I know that you are holy and that it is not easy to live in this world. But with your strength, Lord, we are more than conquerors. Amen. Lord, I beg you to place your angels in the home of each of these who are here to protect them and their families. I ask you, Lord, to free those who are trapped in the addiction of drinking and drugs to lead them away from all evil. Embrace your sons and daughters, Lord, and remove all insomnia, weakness, and sadness from their lives. May those who find themselves downcast within their homes be comforted by your presence. Free them from depression and anguish, Lord. May they feel your transforming love in their hearts. For those who feel unable to leave the house due to depression, set them free, Lord. Visit them and sow your love in their hearts. May they find strength and courage in you to face each day. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Glory to God. Psalm 19, in its sublime poetry and profound message, transcends the barriers of time and culture, continuing to be a source of inspiration and reflection for generations to come. His exaltation of the divine greatness manifested in creation and the perfection of God's law serves as a reminder of the omnipresence and wisdom of the Creator in the universe around us and in the ways of humanity. As we ponder the majesty of the heavens and the magnificence of the sun, we are led to contemplate God's handiwork in every detail of the cosmos, reminding us of our humble position within His creation. This first part of Psalm 19 invites us to marvel at the greatness of the Creator and to recognize His presence and providence in our daily lives. On the other hand, the second part of Psalm 19 leads us to consider God's law as an infallible and transformative guide for our lives. By describing the divine law as perfect, faithful, right, and pure, the psalmist highlights its incomparable value above any earthly treasure. This law not only instructs us in the path of righteousness, but also has the power to change our hearts and renew our minds, offering true wisdom and joy. In conclusion, Psalm 19 invites us to a profound encounter with the divine through the contemplation of creation and the observance of God's law. It reminds us that in the wonder of the heavens and in the perfection of the law, we find the continuing revelation of God's character and will for our lives. May this psalm continue to be a source of inspiration to seek divine wisdom and live in harmony with creation and the Creator. Psalm 19, with its sublime poetry and profound message, transcends the limits of time and culture, persisting as an inexhaustible source of inspiration and reflection for generations to come. His exaltation of the divine greatness manifested in creation and the perfection of God's law serves as a perennial reminder of the omnipresence and wisdom of the Creator in the vast universe and in the paths of humanity. As we contemplate the majesty of the heavens and the magnificence of the sun, we are led to reflect on God's work in every detail of the cosmos, recognizing our humble position within His creation. This first section of Psalm 19 invites us to marvel at the greatness of the Creator and to be aware of His constant presence and provision in our daily lives. On the other hand, the second part of Psalm 19 urges us to consider God's law as an infallible and transformative guide for our lives. By describing divine law as perfect, faithful, right, and pure, the psalmist highlights its incomparable value above any earthly treasure. This law not only instructs us in the path of righteousness, but also has the power to transform our hearts and renew our minds, offering true wisdom and joy. 
In summary, Psalm 19 invites us to a profound encounter with the divine through the contemplation of creation and the observance of God's law. It reminds us that in the wonder of the heavens and in the perfection of the law, we find a continuing revelation of God's character and will for our lives. May this psalm continue to be a source of inspiration to seek divine wisdom and live in harmony with creation and the Creator.